By early May 2015, thousands of birds had built nests and laid eggs on Florida's Seahorse Key, 60 miles southwest of Gainesville in the Gulf of Mexico, and known as the largest bird colony on Florida's Gulf Coast. Seahorse Key is an island where mangroves and seawater meet on 150 acres that have been a sanctuary for birds since 1929. That's when the Cedar Keys National Wildlife Refuge was established to protect snowy egrets, white ibis, pelicans, blue herons, rose-colored spoonbills, ospreys, and other birds who have returned year after year for nearly a century to nest and lay their eggs in the safety of Seahorse Key. But something traumatic happened one night in late May. The only way to get to Seahorse Key is by boat. A tour guide from the town of Cedar Key says that on a Tuesday, probably May 19th, he and tourists watched thousands of birds on Seahorse Key. The next day, he was back with another boatload of tourists and he told the Tampa Bay Times, quote, the birds were all gone. It's just that drastic. There were none. It's like a different world, close quote. Wildlife biologists are baffled, including Professor Peter Frederick from the University of Florida, who has studied Florida birds since 1986, especially the massive nesting colony on Seahorse Key. Professor Frederick told me that what really puzzles him is, quote, all of the different bird species left all at once, close quote. What happened in late May is that all of a sudden there were no nesting birds. One week there were thousands of birds there in the colony. The next week there were no sounds, empty nests, eggshells all over the ground, not a bird around. There were no birds flying around, which I certainly would have expected even if they had abandoned their nests. There were no sounds. Usually there are plenty of sounds of nesting birds because the young make lots of noise. There were no sounds of young birds. It was really a very eerie quiet, and I'd never really seen anything like this on any of the coastal colonies. Complete abandonment of all the birds. So in your professional career, being at the University of Florida since 1986, you've never seen anything like this before? Never seen anything that involves this many species in a coastal situation before. And that's what was weird. Has anybody suggested that magnetic field anomalies this century could have impact on birds? Meaning, I know that the geophysicists are trying to figure out what is going on because the swarm satellites reported rapid decline in the Earth's magnetic field in the first six months of 2014, and they're gathering data to do another report now. And what they don't know is how much further in decline will this magnetic field go till there start to be effects on birds and marine animals? Well, it's a really good question. The one thing we do know is that birds and reptiles, at least, and some fish, use the magnetic field in order to navigate. They're sensing the angle at which the magnetic field hits the Earth. And by that, they can understand latitude and try to get to where they're going. You don't actually have to have sunlight. You can navigate at night or in murky waters or whatever. So we know that they're sensitive to the magnetic field of the Earth. We also know, at least in birds and turtles, that there are redundant systems for navigating. So birds have a magnetic sense, but they also have a smell sense that can help them navigate. They also use landmarks to orient themselves and they also use something called a sun compass. So if there were a major change in the magnetic field of the Earth, I have no doubt that some animals are going to be pretty messed up from that. What is your own speculation about why this dramatic disappearance? Based on my own experience with these birds, I feel like I can rule out food as a likely explanation. I also feel like, for various reasons, that predation and novel predators or increased numbers of predators also seems to be an unlikely explanation. What I'm left with is that there must have been some kind of a disturbance. 
The one thing that the people in the local town, Cedar Key, say is that there have been a lot more military and other flights of airplanes and helicopters over the area for the past couple of months. That doesn't mean it was military. It could have been a private helicopter. It might have been some other big disturbance that we don't even know about. Could the military have been running underwater exercises with technology that could cause a magnetic pulse that scared all the birds away? No one knows. Biologists are now concerned there could be a ripple effect to other birds that will have anxiety about the empty, quiet island. Ironically, all birds could avoid landing on what is supposed to be a peaceful sanctuary for them, not a threat. Bird researcher Janelle Brush with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission echoed Professor Frederick's own suspicion that something traumatic happened that night in May. Quote, any rookery that's persisted for decades as one of the largest colonies is incredibly important. There had to be some intense event that would drive all these birds away, close quote. For more information about this high strangeness on Seahorse Key and many other Earth mysteries, please go to my news website, earthfiles.com.